Internet connection sharing lets us share internet connection with other computers on a home or small office network. In this example we have two network connections. One is a broadband connection to the internet and the other is a LAN connection to the home network. The first step in configuring ICS is to make sure that both connections are configured. Let's examine the configuration of the local area connection. Let's open its properties, and then open the internet protocol properties. Notice that the IP address on this network adapter is 192.168.1.70. Let's click Cancel. To configure connection sharing, we have to edit the properties of the connection that is used to connect to the Internet. In this case, we are using broadband connection called Internet. Let's open its properties and go to the Advanced tab. Now we want to enable internet connection sharing so let's check the allow other network users to connect trough this computer's internet connection. Notice the warning. Right now the username and password for this internet connection were not safe for use by all users. This means that this connection can only be initiated if we are currently logged onto the computer. We are going to fix this later. Let's click OK, and take a look at other options that we can configure. Typically we do want to enable demand dialing. Demand dialing establishes an internet connection whenever a computer on a network tries to connect to the internet. Also, we can allow other users to be able to control the internet connection sharing. In this example we will leave the default settings. Let's click OK to save our changes. Take a look at the warning message. When we enable internet connection sharing, the IP address from a network adapter will be changed to 192.168.0.1. Click Yes to confirm the change. Next, we need to save the username and password of the internet connection for all users to use. Notice that right now the username and password are only available for us. That means that we have to be logged on for anyone else to be able to use this connection. We need to change this so that anyone who uses this computer is able to use the internet connection. When we change that, we have to re-enter our password and click connect, so that our credentials get saved. Now, we can click cancel, because we don't need to use internet connection right now. Finally, let's take another look at the local area connection properties and the TCP IP properties. Notice that the IP address for this network adapter has been changed to 192.168.0.1. Remember, all clients in our private network needs to be configured to use DHCP to automatically obtain IP addresses.